So uh, a few team members brought it to my attention that uh, they are not able to generate multiple BTC wallet addresses from their Exodus wallet. Now, uh, this is, of course, happening mainly on Android. It could also happen on the uh, iPhone. But I need to point out something for you um, that you need to set in order to make that happen. So, for example, uh, this is your phone and this is your wallet, uh, your BTC wallet on your Exodus. You click in the middle and, uh, of course, it takes you to the BTC interface where it's send and receive. At the right-hand top corner, uh, the wheel, which is the symbol of the setting, you click on that setting and you come here. And even though your, um, your can you see, even though your multiple wallet address is active, which means it's purple, uh, let's go back. Uh, we go back and we, if we click on receive, we see the BT, BC1 um, default wallet which Exodus does give you and then there is no more than sign beside the QR code to take you to see your legacy wallet which is the additional wallets that you normally have in an Exodus wallet there is no sign so you can't see that other wallet even though your multiple wallet address is uh, looks like it's active uh, so the problem is you follow me back here go back into this receive setting uh, receive a uh, send and receive interface on the top at that uh, um, wheel the wheel on the top hand corner there top right hand corner if you click that wheel uh, click on it it will bring you to the uh, bitcoin setting interface at the bitcoin setting interface there is just one setting you need to correct uh, or two if you haven't set your uh, multiple wallet addresses, what you need to do here, it says BTC wallet settings. Uh, it gives you a few options. The option that you need to be looking at is the legacy address because multiple addresses are legacy address, which you need to activate in order to see them. So you can generate multiple address, but you're not seeing them because you haven't activated the legacy address, which means if you don't activate it, you can't see it uh, on your um, uh, Exodus wallet. So in order to do that, as the mom at the moment, if you look at it, the circle is grayed out. You can see the circle is not bright, light color, and is grayed out. In order to activate the legacy wallet, you just touch where the circle is on the on the extreme right side of the legacy address, and you touch it, and it goes purple, and the gray is gone. Now it is active. If you haven't activated the multiple wallet, this is also where you would touch the gray and make the multiple wallet uh, purple, which means it's also activated. Now, this means you, when you receive Bitcoin, now, first and foremost, it will show you your legacy address, which is the second default wallet that Exodus gives you. But from now onwards, whenever you would um, make withdrawals or receive money into your ex Exodus, it will generate new wallet address for you. So if we go back now, and click on the receive which is the arrow down receive button it will give us the bc1 which is the default wallet but now can you see now the qr code in the middle of the black and white picture has the more than sign on the right hand side of it if you touch that more than sign you now come into a new interface that shows you your legacy address your legacy btc address so every time you receive money into this it will be this particular address that will change it will not be your bc1 that changes is this legacy address that is the one that will generate new address every time you receive fund and by the way you don't have to wait to receive fund if you need to generate multiple addresses straight away to put in your back office. Simple. Just send money. Uh, just send and receive BTC from yourself. If you have a different wallet, send and receive, send and receive a few times. And you generate so many wallets so you can replace all the wallets you need to replace in your back office. So you don't want to, you don't need to wait until your withdrawals come out to generate the wallets. You can do it now uh, before time and then you can make your back office uh, proper, set it up proper. Anyways. I digress there, but pardon me. This is how you uh, set up the wallet and, you know, resolve that issue of not seeing the legacy address. Okay, I hope this helps.